सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट ऑडियो बुक संतूर टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ इंग्लिश फॉर क्लास थ्री चैप्टर ट्वेल्व चंद्रयान पेज नंबर वन हंड्रेड एटीन लेटस रीड देर वॉज अ गर्ल नेम्ड रानी हु लिव्ड इन अ विलेज she was very curious and used to ask many questions to her family teachers and friends why is the sky blue where does the sun go at night one evening rani heard her mother singing chanda mama dur ke hearing this rani asked her mother amma how far is the moon amma said Rani the moon is very far in the sky Rani kept on thinking about the moon and fell asleep The next morning Rani woke up hearing the loud voice of her elder brother Pratik He was pointing to the TV and shouting in excitement Look Rani India is on the moon Page number 119 Rani looked at the TV. She could see photos of some machines on the moon. She heard a few people talking about the landing on the moon. She was confused and asked Pratik, "How did Chandrayaan reach the moon? Have you seen pictures of Chandrayaan landing on the moon?" Pratik replied that his friend Vivan's mother Aunt Nandini is a scientist. Shall we go and talk to her? asked Pratik. Rani happily agreed. Both Rani and Pratik decided to visit Vivan's house. Page number one hundred twenty. Vivan and his mother welcomed them. Rani could see many models and photographs of rockets in their house. Nandini aunty offered sherbat to children and said, "Rani, what do you want to know?" Rani replied, "People say India is on the moon. Can you please tell us more about this?" Aunty said, "Yes, of course." Do you know which vehicle is used to go to the moon? Pratik immediately said, "I know, Auntie. It is a rocket. I had seen on the TV." Rani pointed to the models and photos of rockets in the room. Page number one hundred twenty-one. Nandini said, "Very good. Yes." A rocket is used to reach the moon. Rani asked, "What does Chandrayaan mean?" Nandini replied, "Chandra means moon, and Yaan means vehicle." On 14 July 2023, India became the first country to land on the far side of the moon. Rani jumped with excitement and said, "Can I go to the moon too?" Nandini smiled. Maybe one day. Page number one hundred twenty-two. New words: curious, scientist, excitement, rockets, machines, Chandrayaan, confused. Let us think. A. Answer the following. One, Rani was very curious. How do you know? Two, what did Pratik say in excitement? Three, who was Nandini Aunty? Four, what do the words Chandra and Yan mean? Five, complete the sentence. Chandrayaan three landed on the moon on. fill in the blank b think and say imagine 
you are invited by the scientists to spend 10 days on the moon. Make a list of items that you would like to take with you. There are 10 blank columns given below. Fill them up. Page number 123. Let us speak. 1. Chandrayaan travelled the distance between the earth and the moon. You may ask elders at home about their experiences of travelling to places that are far from home. 2. Have you ever travelled to far-off places yourself? If yes, share your experience with others. Let us learn. Read the following lines. There was a girl named Rani who lived in a village. A hanky for an elephant. Notice that we used a before girl, village and hanky and an before elephant. We use a before Singular nouns that begin with consonants. An is used before singular nouns that begin with vowel sounds, that is A, E, I, O, U. Note to the teacher, ensure that the focus is on sound and not on the letters. Page number 124 A. Uh, fill in the blanks using a. Uh. 1. Blank space. Dog is barking at the postman. 2. My mother gives chapatis to. Blank space. Cow. Every day. 3. In summers. Blank space. Sparrow builds its nest on the mango tree near our house. B. Fill in the blanks using an. 1. I saw blank space eagle yesterday. 2. Maya bought blank space umbrella for the monsoon. 3. Blank space ice cream man Brings his cart in the evenings. C. Fill in the blanks using A or an. 1. Blank space. Brown hen laid. Blank space. Egg. 2. Blank space. Eagle sat on. Blank space. Building. 3. Mary ate. Blank space, apricot, blank space, chiku, and blank space, orange. Page number 125. Let us write. A. Fill in the blanks by forming words using SK, SW, SP, and ST. 1. There are swings in the park. 2. The children throw fill in the blank ones in the river. 3. I need a blank space. O O N and a bowl for soup. 4. Have you heard the blank space O R Y of the boy who cried wolf? 5. The blue blank space IRT matched with the pink shirt. B. Describing the moon. Draw a picture of the moon. With the help of your teacher, write a few lines about the moon. A blank space is given in a box. Write your answer. Page number. 126. Fun with words. A. 
read these sentences aloud with your teacher. There are seven days in a week. Sunday is the first day of the week. Monday is the second day of the week. Tuesday is the third day of the week. Wednesday is the fourth day of the week. Thursday is the fifth day of the week. Friday is the sixth day of the week. Saturday is the seventh day of the week. B. Look at the words given below. Read them aloud. Find their position in a week using the text given above. One has been done for you. Sunday First Monday Fill in the blank Tuesday Fill in the blank Wednesday Fill in the blank Thursday Fill in the blank Friday Fill in the blank Saturday Fill in the blank Days of the week Note to the teacher Reinforce the link between position and ordinal numbers by using examples from everyday life such as standing first or last in a line, etc. Page number 127 Let us do A. Divide yourself into small groups. Each group shall collect newspaper or magazine clippings related to the Chandrayaan-3 mission. Paste it on a chart paper and display it in your class. Let us explore. A. Do you know a song or a story about the moon in your mother tongue? If not, ask your family members and share it in the class. Note to the teacher, encourage students to share stories with others. Introduce the English counterparts of the words as and when possible. Page number 128 Self-assessment 1. I can recite the poems in a group, in pairs, by repeating after my teacher, by myself. There are empty boxes given in front of all these options. Either tick them right or cross them as your answer. 2. I can read the stories by myself, with my classmates, with the help of my teacher. There are empty boxes given in front of all these options. Tick mark right in the empty box or cross them as your answer. 3. I can write by copying from the book or the board as my teacher speaks with the help of my classmates by myself. There are empty boxes given in front of every option. Either tick them right or cross them as wrong. 4. I can tell stories that I have read or listened by myself, without any help, with the help of the teacher, by using the book. There are blank boxes given in front of each option. Either tick them right or cross them as wrong. 5. I was able to do all the exercise questions. Most of the exercise questions, a few exercise questions, there are blank boxes given in front of each option. Either tick them right or cross them as wrong. Note to the teacher. The assessment sheet can be filled by the student under the guidance of parents and teachers. Santur you were just listening to this audiobook, the textbook of English for class 3. Narration, Babla Kocher and Bamta Malkani. Technical coordination, Bati Langlingdo. Sound recordist, Mayank Kumar. Assistance in production, Soumya Malik. Directed and produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary. 
This audio book is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.